Hey everybody, it's Joanne Musa, the Tax Lean Lady and the host of the 2024 Wealth Building Conference. And this is Ask the Tax Lean Lady Live, where I answer your questions about investing in tax deeds and tax liens. So um, when you come on, let me know, say hello, let me know where you're coming in from because tax lien investing and deed investing is different in every state. Um, all right, so what we have coming up for you this week, actually next week, is our 2024 Wealth Building Conference, and you can sign up now. It is free. Uh, just go to www.wealthbuildingconference.com, and you'll be able to sign up for free. Now, if you want lifetime access to all the interviews, this is how the conference works. They are pre-recorded interviews. I'm doing the interviews. I've been doing them over the last oh three or four weeks and i have uh two more interviews for from our mystery bonus speakers that i'll be doing this week plus i'll be interviewed this week and all those interviews we are going to deliver them next week two to three interviews per day for five days starting monday going through friday and each day you'll have 24 hours to review the videos and i've got some great speakers i am so excited about them this year uh, last year we we did it over 14 days and we had 18 speakers this year i'm narrowing it down and condensing it to only five days and we have 10 main speakers plus two uh, mystery speakers two mystery experts that you'll find out about um, on the day that we that we publish their interviews. So uh, the first bonus speaker is gonna be on Tuesday. So on Tuesday, you'll have three interviews to watch if you sign up. And the last day on Friday, we have a special bonus speaker for you. So um, I can't wait for you to, to watch these interviews. I had such a good time doing them and got really inspired. Uh, so inspired that I decided to bring back the wealth building webinars. I used to do wealth building webinars every month and it's free to come to the webinar live and it was to get the replay you had to be a member of the Taxing Profits Accelerator and I'm going to bring them back this year. I miss them. We haven't done them since March of 2023 and I'm going to bring them back this year. Our first one will be on uh, in February with one of our guest speakers, one of our mystery bonus speakers for the conference. And thank you, Nicole, for putting the link to register for the conference in there for everybody. Okay, um, so did we have any questions ahead of time, Nicole? Did we get any questions from the Facebook group? Uh, and hello to everybody that's joining us. Just um, let us know who you are and what state you're in, what state you, and, and what is your question? <laughs> that's what I'm here for. I'm here to answer your questions about investing in tax liens and tax deeds. Um, so that being said, and we also, we post the replays to YouTube. We have a YouTube channel at taxlinglady.com. Well, no, not at taxlinglady.com. It's at youtube.com <laughs> forward slash taxlinglady. Uh, so for people that don't like Facebook or don't want to come onto Facebook, they can watch the replays on the YouTube channel. Okay. And sometimes we get questions from there too. So uh, go ahead, Nicole, and give me the question that we got from YouTube. And I'll be happy to answer that for the replay for people that watch on the YouTube channel. Uh, we also have a private Facebook group that is free to join. And that is at um, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash tax lean in, in a tax lean investing success. So it's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash tax lean investing success, which is another way that you can um, send uh, posts or messages to me 
ask me questions and also get answers from the other people that are in the group. We have over a thousand people in that group. All right, so we have a question about Maryland. Um, do you know of any lawyers in Maryland that handle excess funds? No, I don't. Excess funds is not something that I do. Um, it's uh, a specialty <laughs> and you really have to know what you're doing because it's very different in every state and there are legal um, there are legal things that you have to look out for in each state. As a matter of fact, some states you have to be an attorney to to get the excess funds. Um, and the one guy that does it well is uh, Sean Bougie. Um, so I, if I again, if I cannot answer your question, I'm going to point you in the right direction to the person who can. And Sean Bougie is the go-to person for excess funds because it has to be done right. You can't always just collect the funds. There's a certain way to do it. Um, okay. And Nicole has also put in for you the link to our Facebook group. So you have the link to register for our wealth building conference that starts on Monday and um, and the link to the Facebook group if you're interested in the group. All right. Hey, Rodney uh, from Texas. Okay. Is it possible to run a title search on a redemption deed yourself? Uh, yeah. What you would do is um, you would go to the public records and you would look up any of the owner's names in the public records and see what is uh, uh, recorded against them. Okay. Hey, Ben. Um, a tough question, but here it goes. Okay. You won seven liens in Hoboken, New Jersey last year. I noticed that the remaining properties have not been redeemed or parking spaces that belong to people who own condos. I assume that they will eventually be redeemed, but if I get to the two year mark, are there any benefits of going after foreclosure since these properties aren't land or building based? No of any other options. Oh yes, I would foreclose on them. It's very expensive to park your car in the city <laughs> and even in Hoboken, okay? Those uh, parking spaces are valuable. So it, um, so the, you're saying the ones that you have that have not been redeemed are parking spaces, right? And, I, and so here's what I would do. I would look at what they're worth. Determine, see, I really can't answer that question without knowing what they're actually worth and knowing what you spent on them. So here's what I would do. I would find out what you spent on them, find out what they're worth, and then uh, contact an attorney in New Jersey who does this and ask them if it's worth it to do that and how long it would take. Because here's what's happening with the foreclosures in New Jersey are taking longer. And it depends on the county. Some of the counties aren't even doing them right now, all because of the Supreme Court decision. Um, New Jersey's got some things to work out. Uh, but I know investors in New Jersey that are still foreclosing on properties. And since these are not um, houses, uh, since it's parking lots, you, you, you might be able to foreclose on them easier. But how you find that out is you contact a foreclosure attorney and you ask them. OK, um, the attorney that I've used in the past is. Uh, uh, Deborah, Deborah Feldstein, she worked with Mike Pellegrino and Mike is now retired and Deborah has um, taken over. Um, so that's what I would do. And if you're looking for other attorneys, you could just Google uh, New Jersey tax lien foreclosure attorneys or New Jersey tax lien attorneys. But yes, you're welcome. Benjamin, you're welcome. Yeah. And by the way, Ben, one thing I want to tell you is that it, they don't expire for 20 years. 
in New Jersey, liens do not expire in 20 years. So you can hold on to them while you're thinking about what to do. It's not like other states where you have to do something at the end of the redemption period or um, or they, they might expire sooner. But in New Jersey, however, you don't want it to go on very long if they're not worth a lot of money. So you've got to find out, find out what those parking lots are, parking spots are worth. Okay. Um, her name was Deborah Feldstein. Um, yeah, and if you just, uh, uh, she worked with Mike Pellegrino. So if you just Google tax lien attorneys in New Jersey, um, they, they would probably come up. Okay, and I know of another good, very good attorney that the municipalities use in New Jersey, but he's more expensive. Um, but he, he can do things faster. And that's uh, Keith Bonchi. I've not used him, but I know of other investors that have. All right, any other questions? Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for your questions. And who else is here? Let me know you're here. Uh, say hello. Let me know that I'm not doing this by myself. <laughs> oh yeah, you have there. You mean you have Mike's book? Mike wrote the book uh, Tax uh, Tax Liens is the name of the book on New Jersey tax liens. Yeah, yeah, that's Mike Pellegrino. And I think Cap Law. I don't know if they still if do business under cap law. I think it was Pellegrino and Feldstein. Okay, hi, Sylvia. Hey, we have an appointment today, Sylvia, at 3 p.m. I will talk to you on Zoom then. Um, discussing the foreclosure procedure across the middle Atlantic states like PA, New Jersey, Maryland, Delaware, in terms of how complicated the procedure is how costly it is, how long it takes. Obviously, if you want to sell the property you have acquired, it makes a difference in how, okay. First of all, PA, you're buying the property. There's no foreclosure process. You're buying the property at the deed sale, okay? New Jersey, it's a foreclosure process and it takes a while. Um, Maryland, um, it is a foreclosure process. I'm not sure exactly how long it takes, but I have I, I have heard a Maryland attorney talk about it. Um, I haven't done any foreclosures in Maryland, Delaware. It does not take long because it's a redeemable deed in Delaware, and it and um, it's a 30 day process to get the deed in Delaware. Okay, so I hope that answers that question. And yeah, you, um, Sylvia, check your junk uh, mail for the Zoom link. You should have got a link from, you should have got a reminder from Time Trade yesterday for our call today. You would have gotten one when you signed up. And, it, and, and do you always have to hire an attorney? It depends on the state. In New Jersey, yes. In Maryland, yes. Um, in Pennsylvania, no. And in Delaware, I don't think so in Delaware. Um, you got a reminder, but it didn't include a Zoom link. Oh, that's odd. That's odd. I will, I'll send you one when I'm done with the uh, answering questions here. <laughs> I'll send you the Zoom link then. Um, by the way, this call is not to, it's not a coaching call. It's a clarity call. It's to give you your next best steps and what I can do to help you get there, okay? So if you have specific questions, coaching questions, I'm not gonna be able to answer them on the call. All right. Um, any other questions for me?
Any other questions for me? But I will, Sylvia, I will tell you how you can get coaching from me if you want. I do have a coaching call tomorrow night for my coaching clients where I actually can show my screen, show you how to get the information you want online, what tax sales are coming up, um, and a whole bunch more. <laughs> and a whole bunch more. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I'm excited to talk to you. Now you're in um, Pennsylvania, which is a deed state, by the way. Philadelphia, they do redeemable deeds. Most of them do not redeem. All right. And I, off the top of my head, I don't remember what the redemption period is, but it is less than a year. I don't know if it's nine months. I forget exactly. Any other questions? We've got a lot of people joining us now. So give me your questions, guys. Because that's what I'm here for. I'm here to answer your questions. And if this is helpful to you, like the post, like the live, and like the page. Um, and if you know somebody else that would benefit by, by it, share it with them. Okay. Any other questions? Any other questions? Let me know who's watching. Let me know where you're coming in from, what state you're coming in from, so that I can best answer your question. Um, one thing you will have to do if you get properties here in Pennsylvania, Sylvia, is you still have to clear the title to the property. You get it free and clear of any other liens or encumbrances when you buy it at the deed sale, but it doesn't come with a warranty deed. It comes with a tax deed. So you do have to either do a quiet title process with an attorney um, or a, a, a title certification. The quiet title process can take a while. And the only reason you would do that is so that you could sell your property to somebody that's getting a mortgage for it because um, they'll need to get title insurance. So the only reason you would need to do that is to get title insurance. All right, so I hope that makes sense. Hey, Gary, happy new year. Happy new year to you, Gary. And unfortunately, Gary, I did not get Pace to as one of the speakers for the Wealth Building Conference, but I did get some awesome speakers for this year's conference. So make sure you register everybody for the 2024 Wealth Building Conference. It starts on Monday. Each day we have a theme. Monday's theme is bringing in more money, okay? Uh, Tuesday's theme is um, managing and saving your money. Um, and then we go into investment strategies, the real estate investment strategies that work best in today's market for the next two days, uh, Wednesday and Thursday. And then on Friday, and by the way, Tuesday, I have the first uh, mystery guest, the first bonus uh, expert. So on Tuesday, you're going to get three interviews. And the last day on Friday, we're going to get three interviews. And on Friday, we're talking about passive income um, and financial independence. So, yeah, so it, it's... Uh, I've got some great, and, and we'll have another bonus speaker too on Friday. So got some great speakers lined up for the conference. And we did put the link in early earlier. So if you miss the beginning of this live, you could just watch the replay and look at all the comments. We did have the link in there for, uh, for the, to register for the 2024 Wealth Building Conference. It is free to register for the conference, but here's the thing. If you do the free conference, each day you have 24 hours to watch the speaker interviews that are published on that day. If you want lifetime access to all the speaker interviews, then you can get, if you get it now, it's only $47. You can get VIP access to all the speaker interviews for only $47. If you wait until Monday, it's $97. So I just wanted to let you know that. And Nicole has put that link in again. And Happy New Year to everybody. 
My newsletter will be coming out later today. I forgot all about it with everything that I'm doing, getting ready for this 2024 wealth building conference. But we will have it out either tonight or tomorrow. We'll get that newsletter out to you with a lot of good information, including what online tax sales are coming up and what's the first thing you need to do when investing in tax liens is all in the newsletter as well as information about the Wealth Building Conference. And our next webinar, uh, Wealth Building Webinar, we're bringing back the Wealth Building Webinar starting next month. Okay, we don't have the details yet for you because it's not until February 15th. And the details will be coming out early February. So keep your eye on your inbox for that. Any questions? Any questions? That's what I'm here for, here to answer your questions. Thank you for being here. Thank you, those of you who did give me your questions. And thank you for those of you who liked the page or liked this Facebook Live. Um, okay, there are services that are advertised as an alternative to a quiet title action involving less time and money. Yes, there are. Tax title services, yeah. Tax title services does that, and there is another company that does that. Um, you have to fight, they, but they, uh, Pennsylvania, see some states, the attorneys charge you more money. The last time I did a quiet title process in Pennsylvania was years ago, but it was under $1,000. Um, if you use tax title services, it's going to cost you more than that, but they can do it faster. They can turn it around faster. So I su here's what I suggest, that if you get a property in Pennsylvania, that you call tax title services and ask them how much it's going to be, and that you also call an attorney here in PA, a real estate attorney, and find out how much they're going to charge you and how long it's going to take. And then you make up your mind because you'll pay more money to do um, uh, to do the title certification process, but they can turn it around quicker. So it just depends on what you want to do. Now, if it's land, um, they'll give you a break on what it, it might be under two thousand dollars if it's land, but otherwise, it's going to be over two thousand dollars. To, to use tax title services. Now call them and verify that. There's another company that does this as well. All right, they're not the only company that does this, um, but they all don't work in all states. I, I, tax title services, I think, does do PA. And I'm not sure if the other company does. Okay, uh, but PA attorneys, are more reasonable when it comes to this than other states. Other states, the attorneys charge a lot of, of money as well to, to do a quiet title process. And of course it depends on the property and it depends like if there are a lot of owners, that's more money. If there are heirs, if there, you know, somebody is, if, if it's a deceased party and they've had, have a lot of heirs that have to be notified, that's more money, okay? <laughs> Um, the title will be under a cloud, whether I buy the deed or I get the property through foreclosure, right? Um, what are you talking about when you mean through foreclosure? If you close with a closing agent and get a warranty deed, then you won't have that problem. If you close with a closing agent and get a warranty deed, you will not have that problem. And I haven't done a share of sale, so I don't know if they do that or not. I don't know what kind of deed you get, but I, a lot of times, yeah, you still have to clear the title, but I'm, I'm, that is not my cup of tea, let's say. That's not my expertise, the share of sales, only the deed sales. And I know deed sales in PA, you do have to clear the title. As a matter of fact, even if you, uh, like in New Jersey, if you foreclose on a lien in New Jersey, you, you have to clear the title then. Also, same thing. You don't get a warranty deed when you foreclose on a property. When you do a tax foreclosure on a property. Sylvia, does that answer your question? Okay. Any other questions, guys? I am here to answer your questions. 
I am here and I'm doing this from, from Pennsylvania where it was snowing again. <laughs> we had gotten a foot of snow here. I'm in the Poconos. Um, over the weekend, we got a foot of snow. There's still snow out there, even though it did warm up and it was snowing again today. Uh, yeah, and uh, Sylvia, the only issue is if you're selling it to somebody that's getting a mortgage because they'll need, you'll need title insurance, okay? They'll need to get title insurance. So um, if you're selling land or if you're selling on owner financing, it's not something you have to worry about right away, right? If you're selling land on owner financing, then you, you don't have to, right, you know, you can, you can uh, do owner financing and then it doesn't matter if it takes time to clear the title because by the time, uh, by the time they get the property, by the time you're done financing, you'll be, you'll be able to get clear title, right? Hopefully, <laughs> depending on how long you do the financing for. All right, any other questions? Any other questions? I'm gonna take a sip of water and give you guys a minute to think of your questions and put them in. Put them in the comments. I'm doing this from StreamYard. It gets streamed to the Facebook page and I can see your comments. And Nicole, my assistant, is here on Facebook um, with me and she is putting in things to the comments as well. Like the links that I talk about. And am I forgetting anything, Nicole? I don't think I'm forgetting anything. And I think we've answered all the questions. So uh, what other questions? So we've had people today from Pennsylvania, from Texas, um, where else? Uh, we had a question from Maryland. Um, any other states being represented here today? New Jersey, we had somebody that invested in New Jersey. Any other states? Anybody from any other states? Okay, so we have another question from Sylvia. Oh, and thank you for your questions, Sylvia, they're great. In the video I was watching, the person commented that there in some states, the foreclosure process is judicial or non-traditional. She said, it. She didn't elaborate. Can you discuss this? Okay. Uh, some states have a judicial um, foreclosure, which means it has to go to court, right? And that's what happens in New Jersey, by the way. It's a judicial process. And then it goes to final judgment, all right? Other states, you just follow a procedure. Um, and it really, it's very state specific. So, it's, you know, it's, it's not something I can generalize on. It's state specific, the way it's handled. Some states, you just go through a processing and get the deed. And other states, it has to go through the courts, right? Other states, it has to go through a foreclosure, a judicial, there's a judicial process and a non-judicial process. Right. That's that's what they were talking about. And yeah, they weren't specific because unless you're talking about a specific state, you don't know what the procedure is. OK. All right. Um, if I have no more questions, I'm going to end this Facebook live. And I will see you guys bring your questions next Tuesday. By the way, in the group, in the investing for it's uh, I say investing for success. It used to be called investing for success, but I changed the name to tax lean investing success to make it more specific. All right. Because investing for success could be about any kind of investing. And I don't there's a lot of things I don't talk about. For instance, somebody asked about overages. That's not what I do. Um, I don't 
you know, talk about stock market investing or anything like that. So I made it more specific. The name of the group is Tax Lean Investing Success. And in that group on Thursday at 12 o'clock every Thursday, I do a, a tip, a tax lien investing tip. It's usually a 10 minute tip. So it's a real short tip. And there are plenty of tips in the group because I do one every week. So you can tune in on Thursday to the uh, tax lien investing success group for, for my tax lien investing tip. And here on Tuesdays at 2 p.m., I answer questions live on Facebook. So thank you for your questions and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye everybody.